This is what I want to be taking. This is what we're taking. It's more spinning rods than I've ever taken in a tournament. Okay guys, sitting in my Airbnb, head completely spinning. I have no idea what to do tomorrow. No idea. Day one of practice, saw 25 pounds in about every pocket I went to up shallow spawning. Couple locked on, a lot of roamers. And I learned very quickly that those fish are very hard to catch. I didn't try to catch any of them on Wednesday. I just dropped a bunch of waypoints. Thursday, I went to another area to replicate it and thought I better try to catch a few of those. These shallow fish are just I, I can't, I just can't. So the tournament that I won here, I was up in the river, muddy water, in my comfort zone, flipping buck brush, throwing a swim jig, throwing a big spinner bait. I was happy. That bite's not playing right now at all, at all. So your girl is way out of her comfort zone on the lower end of the lake, rigging up a bunch of spinning rods to go out and try to fish deep just to get a limit. And then I'm gonna try to get these big largemouth down here on beds to actually work for me a little bit. Head spinning on this one. You saw what we're taking out there. I don't know what to expect, you guys. I'm even contemplating going out and fishing blind tomorrow. My pattern right now, just to get the, the decent spots and try to get a limit, fishing a lot of islands, fishing a lot of blow throughs or blow downs, whatever the locals call them. I call them saddles. That's basically what I'm gonna do, I guess, tomorrow. And then we'll see how it goes, but y'all are gonna go along with it. Wish me luck. We're gonna get rigged up, go to the check-in, and then we're gonna try to, and then we're all gonna find out how good I am at fishing way out of my strength zone. <laughs> all right guys, good morning. We started off the morning with, see that red light way out there? That is my kayak. I forgot to tie it down on the boat ramp and it's just floating out there, but luckily we've got some good people at the ramp and they're gonna go fetch it for me. Um, just getting loaded up here, or just getting ready here at the ramp. There's about right now five or six people here. Gonna see how today goes, get my boat fetched, get some stuff rigged. Yeah, just a typical day one for this girl. <laughs> At least it's not windy today. Yeah, kind of just went out there and set. It, it did, and that's a good boat right there. Thank you, Casey. Yeah. No Casey's a good dude. Always good to see him at the ramp this morning. Here's our kayak, guys. All right, guys, we got tournament morning. You can hear boats running everywhere. There's a huge high school, huge high school tournament going on in the state park. Another boat turned my cell even down there. Starting on these shoals and these blow throughs out here, um, mid lake around Carter's Ferry. And uh, chose this area just because it has so much of the stuff I'm looking for. Those little blow throughs, islands humps, all that good stuff. Drifting into some of the stuff I wanna start fishing right now. <laughs> I've been live scoping already, seeing some fish out here. And uh, they're in groups of one or two. I think those are the bigger spots. So hopefully, seen a couple of them not seen a lot of them but hopefully i can get a couple here get a limit quickly decent limit you know i'm, I'm thinking like load them if i can get load them at 80s i'm loading up and we're leaving we're going to chase those large mouth try to get them to eat up on beds here's what we've got rigged up today i'm going to start with that wake bait we've got an underspin with a little power swimmer little trooper on a ned rig i know i can't believe i'm even throwing a ned i haven't done that in years uh shaky head with a hit worm we got a little jerk shed weightless and we've got a little popper. So those that's my rotating baits this morning. We're gonna see how this goes. Also have a cane walker um, stowed away on deck just in case I feel like getting frisky with that. But there's a couple of fish down there. I don't know if you can see them. There's two of them. And those usually are two, you know, those are usually our bigger spots, kind of cruising on the shoal. I need to get off of the shoal. Keep drifting around. But we got first cast and the longest 13 minutes of a tournament angler's morning. So let's get them, you guys. So I'm just watching these fish just attack bait down here. Tons of bait hanging out. Just sitting here watching them. Can't cast them. Oh, and by the way, you guys, I am by no means a uh, expert forward-facing sonar person, nor am I an expert finesse, like spotted bass, blueback herring lakes. This is uh, kind of my weakness. So I'm kind of excited to fish a tournament where I am doing this and not fishing my strengths. Yeah, it's gonna be fun for me. It'll definitely be a challenge. Excited to learn something. Hopefully teach y'all something. We got five more minutes. Finally got bit. I missed it. All right, so I've had several fish follow a shaky head and the Ned rig down and not eat it. So we're gonna try a drop shot. Just doing all kinds of things that I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> got one finally. Please be fast. I don't feel very good. 
great big, whatever it is. Little baby spot, we'll take it. 14 and a half. 15 and a half. On the drop shot. All right guys, we're gonna go load up. Go to a different spot. We're in the truck, heading to spot number two. Had about a 25 minute drive. I had some really big largemouth on beds here. They were just super, super hard to catch. They were exposed. What I've learned about this lake is that a lot of these beds a lot of these fish are bedding in areas where they are just ridiculously exposed. I don't understand it, but they are. I've all, I also caught some big spots. Have two little spots going into this next spot. It's gonna be about 10 o'clock by the time I get on the water. 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, oh, five hours. I need to get a, basically need to get a really good bite an hour. I think we can do that. I don't know guys, I don't know what to expect, but midday move, 9.38 a.m. Hoping uh, this spot's a little better than that one because that was not happening for me. All right, guys, we made it. Let's try to catch some. Well, I lost my net somewhere, guys. I'm not sure if that fish was on a bed or not. I just threw it at a sandy spot. quarter. Oh boy, that'll measure. First cast at a dock. Got a little fish. There's my fifth fish. Maybe I should have been just and docked a little bit. I can breathe a little bit. I got a limit. But but you guys, I have no idea what to do. All right, just wasted a half an hour trying to catch a five pound largemouth. That's what's dangerous about this area. That's what they do here. They don't love you. They tease you, but they don't love you. These big shallow fish are cruel. Freaking hybrid. Dang old hybrid, you guys. I have no idea what to do right now. God, wheels are spinning. Oh no. Whoops. Well guys, that pretty much wraps up the tournament for today. My goodness. We've got about 10 rods laying all over the place. A little jet skier making a TikTok video. 
and 74 and a half inches for today. Got a lemon at least, but I think I'm gonna be in like 60th or 70th place out of the 100, 170 people. Got to do something totally different tomorrow, you guys. I felt so lost today. I could not get these. I don't know if I'm just in the wrong part of the lake where these bedfish aren't. They get a lot of pressure and they're not active or they're not eating. But we're going to go scratch our head, rig up some new rods, look at a map, and do some serious thinking on what we want to do tomorrow because I've got to have a huge day tomorrow. And I'm not totally sure what that's going to look like or what that even what that even means. So we're going to do our best. going to go back, rig up, get all this stuff cleaned up and uh, stay tuned for day two. Well, good morning guys. See that sun back there? I slept in a little bit for the first time in a very, very long time. I didn't sleep in too bad. Um, it was raining pretty hard this morning. Like I said, I had a pretty mediocre day yesterday for day one of Hartwell. And if y'all watched yesterday's day one, Boy, these blueback herring lakes are definitely my weakness, especially fishing way down south like I am. Just trying to work on that for this tournament. Um, just trying to get a little better at this type of fishing. But I'm not sure what I learned yesterday. <laughs> but we're going to go and try to apply some things today. Try to get bit a little bit more. I don't think I'm going to go after those largemouth. Um, bed fishing is not... We don't really have the bed fishing conditions today. So... We're going to stick offshore, we're going to run these blow throughs and points and whatever pumps and sand flats out here and see what we can see what we can muster up. So first cast was about 35 minutes ago, so I'm not too late, but man, I just needed some rest, you know? Anyway, let's go get them, y'all. Okay, guys, my GoPro had an error, but I caught the first little spot on this shaky head with the magnum hit worm maybe that means something again it was not big but it is a bass it's fishing this flow through right here that was on this shoal missed another one there and caught a catfish maybe that means there's fish i'm not totally sure yet Mike okay. oh got one on the lay down it's a little spot it's a little baby spot. Come here, spot. Come here. We're gonna catch you. <sighs> Fourteen and a quarter. It's a dang hybrid. Another catfish. Okay, guys. The leaderboard's pretty slow today, so I'm just gonna try to try to fill a limit. I've got two small little spots right now. I'm going to come in this cove and just flick a wacky rig around the docks. See if we can't pick a couple fish up and then go back out and try to figure something else out. Okay, I just had two largemouth follow this prop bait all the way to the boat. They're like two pounders. Okay, you guys, it is 1230. I have two fish. I don't feel like I'm learning anything. This is probably... I, can y'all tell that I have no idea what's going on? Oh my goodness. Um, I don't think I've ever felt this lost before. I had I had several largemouth follow a prop bait out back in that cove, threw a wacky rig in there, I threw a little popper in there, I threw a little swim bait in there. But I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, I'm gonna try to, try to at least go back out to these saddles and Floaters and try to pick up a couple of spots, I guess. And sometimes they just go like this. I need a net so bad. That's a nice one. Oh, there was dang ass missed one. A lot of 
Marcus. So I just went and found the nearest ice cream store. It's about 14 miles away, Arctic Freeze. It was incredible and I needed it. You guys, I haven't come up one fish shy of a limit in such a long time. Needless to say, this is gonna be my worst tournament performance ever. I think I finished like 83rd out of the 170. Like, guys, I bombed this one. Oh my goodness. I've just never, never felt so lost out there. I did everything I thought I could. My head was just spinning. I didn't have any confidence. I just wasn't fishing right. I want to I wanna quickly give a huge congrats to Lil Brandon for an, an incredible win. I mean, he had probably close to... 18 pounds of fish each day. So I listened to the awards show and kind of how they were they were catching them and a lot of them were throwing wacky, throwing Nico rigs over suspended spots. They were fishing shaky heads in 25, 30 foot of water. I never fished that deep. But the one thing I do when I get my teeth kicked in at a tournament, I, I can't leave on these terms. You guys, we're going back out tomorrow. I'm gonna go back out tomorrow. I am not leaving this lake until I figure something out or have a little bit more confidence in what I'm doing out there. I guess I like the punishment. I might get my teeth kicked in again, but I am, I've am i got to have one more day on these blueback herring lakes just to, just to leave and feel like I've done something. Even if I catch one big spot out there, I've got to get back out there tomorrow. I can't leave on these terms. I'm not letting, the, I am not gonna let this lake beat me. So I'll have a video on that, you guys. Stay tuned for it. I, anyways, I appreciate y'all so much being supporting me and, and checking these videos out regardless if I'm crushing it cash and checks or sitting there like an absolute rook lost with the zero pieces of the puzzle so I just want y'all to know the support regardless of how I'm doing is means the world I appreciate you guys and uh, stay tuned I've got a feeling I'm gonna go out there we're gonna figure this out tomorrow you guys it really does the encouragement and the positivity in the comments I it's it's awesome I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep giving my best out there I'm gonna figure something out tomorrow. I'm not letting this lake win, you guys. Stay tuned. Another big one. Uh, <laughs> Why didn't we have this this weekend, you guys? We are literally just sight fishing these fish. This is unreal. I mean, couldn't buy a bite, and it's just like lights out right now. 